Hello friends, uh, again I am here to explain uh, how we do enciphering. Uh, enciphering I already over, deciphering. How we decode the message in cryptography. So uh, if you not seen my previous lecture which is, uh, which is uh, how we do enciphering, please finish that one using Hill Cipher. Uh, here uh, I am going to explain how we go for deciphering. So please uh, watch it the previous lecture first and then you go for this. Otherwise you will not understand how it came. So uh, in last lecture uh, I am converting the message I am hiding using the matrix 1203. Uh, so procedure already I explained in previous lecture. So once I converted, this is your plain text message and the cipher text message we got KC, CX, QL, KP, UU. Uh, the numbers which we got in pairs means AP vectors is 11, 3, 3, 24, 17, 12, 11, 16, 21, 21. So uh, for deciphering, whatever mat matrix you have, what is matrix we have? 1, 2, 0, 3. First, find inverse of this matrix using uh, modulo method. What is modulo method? Under modulo uh, 26, how we calculate A inverse is different from that one. I will explain. Uh, so, procedure is very simple. Uh, this is A inverse is uh, 3, 1 and minus 2, 0 and divided by its modulus. What is modulus? Determine 3. So, uh, now, it means uh, 1 by 3, 3, 1, minus 2, 0. This is your A inverse. Now, under modulus 26, first you have to find out 1 by 3 value. What is 1 by 3 value in with modulus 26? It means, suppose it means we are going to calculate 3 inverse. Correct? We are going to calculate 3 inverse, 1 by 3 means 3 inverse. So, 3 inverse, uh, how we calculate? You have to find out the solution of 3x calculate to 1 modulo 26. Suppose you are going to calculate 4 inverse, then uh, 4x calculate to 1 modulo 26. 5 inverse, we calculate by 5x calculate to 1 modulo 26. In that way, means whatever a is there, means this a. We have to find the solution for ax calculate to 1 modulo 26. So, uh, it means for which x value, 3x minus 1 divided by 26, means remainder will be 0. So, obvious, uh, it is 9, 9, 3 to the 27, 27 minus 1, you know what is mean of A component B modulo M, it means uh, A minus B divided by, divided by M. So, when you take X value 29, uh, 27 minus 1, that is 26 and 26 divided by 26. Correct? So, uh, before that, uh, we can't get any number which we can do. Suppose we put 5. So, 5 is a 50. 50 minus 1, 40. 14 is not divisible by 26. So, that number we can't take. We have to choose that x for which a minus m we divisible by m. So, here we take 9. So, this 3 inverse is what? 9. Uh, so 3 minus 2, 0, 1. So when you multiply, what we get? Uh, 
we get nine three are twenty seven minus eighteen zero nine. So again modulo twenty six means if it is a positive number, it is more than twenty six. Twenty-five. So, if it is a positive number, then divide and uh, write the remainder. So, twenty-six divided by twenty-seven means one. Uh, twenty-seven divided by twenty-six remainder one. Now, if this is minus, whenever minus sign is there, so uh, take its positive value. So, minus eight, eighteen positive value means eighteen. Now, what is the remainder? But twenty-six divided by eighteen, it's eighteen only. So whenever minus sign is there, so find out the first remainder. Suppose remainder k r, what given? Then your final value is m minus r. Understand? For positive, as you go write the remainder. For negative value only, just Take its positive value and divide by 26. Find the remainder. Then value is m minus r. Suppose here minus 18 positive value, 18 only. When you divide by 26, what is the remainder? 18 only. Then find the value is 26 minus 18. How much? 8. Here 9 is there. No 9. 9 multiplied. Then for 0 it's a 0 only. For nine, it's a positive means nine only. So this is your a number. Understand? So only three things you have to take care. One, how we find inverse of that value? Because always in down we have to calculate determinant of this a d minus b c. So we have to find out inverse of a d minus b c whole inverse. Uh, so how we calculate? Whatever value is there, find out the solution of Ax covariant to one modulo twenty six, which you can calculate easily. Second thing, when you multiply, suppose you get uh, more than twenty five, then divide by twenty six and write the remainder. If it is positive integer, if it is a negative integer, take its modulus, then divide by twenty six, find out the remainder r, then value is m minus r. Always remember. Once you do it, you will get the inverse easily for any matrix which is given under modulo twenty six. So once you got the matrix, here I got the matrix one eight zero nine. So once you got the matrix, letters already you have. What letters we have? Letters we have. Three three twenty four seventeen twelve eleven sixteen twenty one twenty one. So again, you make the pairs. This is one pair. This is one pair. So what are the pairs we have? Eleven, three, three, twenty-four, seventeen, twelve, eleven, sixteen, twenty-one, twenty-one. So uh, now find out a inverse p for each and every pair. So what is what? What is your a inverse? One zero eight nine. So first pair is eleven three. So multiply. So eleven twenty four. Eleven plus twenty four means thirty five. Zero twenty seven. So thirty five divided by twenty six. What is the remainder? Nine, and this is one. Similarly, one eight zero nine for second pair. What is second pair? Three twenty four. Three twenty four means three also one ninety five. One ninety five divided by twenty six. This is uh, eight. So 
similarly 1809 divided uh, multiply with what is second third pair 1712 so when you uh, do the procedure you will get 914 similarly for 1809 when you multiply with uh, 1116 you will get 914 final and uh, 1809 when you multiply with uh, 2121 you will get 770 which you can do easily just uh, simply multiply and if it is greater than 26 divide by 26 uh, and write the model uh, sorry, I am telling at 26 and uh, greater than 25 because 25 factors on you, we allotted. So, it means we converted into if we calculated A equals P, so what we pair we have 9, 11, 9, 1, 13, 8, 9, 14. Deciphering we did. Uh, it's required a lot of practice uh, and easily you can do. Uh, so finally the procedure you understand what how, how we do deciphering. Simple thing. The main part is finding A inverse. A inverse how we calculate just as you would write A inverse for 2 cross 2 matrix then for 1 by 9 1 by 9 uh, suppose we got here determinant 9 so 9 is there so one uh, suppose, uh, determinant we got 3 suppose whatever number you got means AD minus BC only because 2 cross 2 matrix determinant value is what AD minus BC in general if you take ABCD then AD minus BC inverse how we calculate you have to find out that X which satisfies this relation AD minus BC into X is converted to 1 modulo 26. You have to find that X. Once you got that X, put that one for 1 upon AD minus, I mean AD minus BC inverse, you put that one and multiply it with the uh, integers, whatever inside entries are there. Once you multiply it, suppose you got uh, numbers two possibilities there one is more than 25 you got then simply you if it is positive then divide by 26 and write the remainder if it is negative number no matter either it's, uh, greater than 25 or less than 25 nothing if it is a negative value is integer is there that time divide uh, take its positive value suppose we have minus three minus 3 positive value is 3 so 3 divided by 26 what is the remainder 3 only so 3 means that is your r remainder is 3 so what is your final value m minus r means 26 minus 3 means 23 similarly suppose we have 20 minus 29 minus 29 means uh, what is positive value 29 divide by 26 what is the remainder 3 so what is your final answer for this 26 minus 3 means 23 is your answer so hope you understand so in that way you calculate a inverse once you have a inverse find out a inverse into p or each and every cipher text message which you uh, made the pair once you have that one again write 
uh, in alphabet letters means already number you know what number you allotted for that alphabet right that is your decipher method so hopefully you understand this one if again you have any doubt please feel free to ask me thank you